Hello, dear readers. Welcome back. Great job yesterday on working on our Google Classroom questions, as I know that they were a little bit trickier. Before we go over the setting of our historical fiction text, first, a couple of announcements. Scholars, if you haven't already, make sure that you log into Lexia for 30 minutes after this. Remember, you need 150 minutes in two days, so make sure that you're going for at least 30 minutes on Lexia today or more. Today, we will not have ELA reteach, but we will have office hours from 2.45 to 4 o'clock, and we know that that is three Vista virtual points. Scholars, I know that you want to earn free pizza, either just from going on Lexia or earning those Vista virtual points. So make sure that you attend. ELA Masters, today we will continue to talk about her historical fiction text, Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes. And we are going to be focusing on a specific aspect of our setting today. As a reminder, we always want to ask ourselves these questions, whether we're reading Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes or any other fi historical fiction text. First, I want to ask myself, how is the setting important to the plot of the story, the time and the place? Then, I also want to reflect on what can stories teach readers like me about the past? We know that what happened during Sadako's time isn't necessarily true for 2020. So what can I learn through her perspective about what life was like then? Finally, it's very important that as a good reader, I am thinking about what is fact and what is fiction in a historical fiction text. Let's first review what historical fiction is. Remember that you can use your resource, which is under classwork, historical fiction. Scholars, you will have about 45 seconds to, you guess it, answer the first two questions on your Google form. Get ready and go. Couple more seconds, scholars. Let's see how we did. Hmm, say it with me. Historical fiction is an imaginative story that takes place in the historical past and may have some real events or people. Your turn. Historical fiction is an... You've got it. Whoa, scholars, you guys are getting really good at that by now. We know that historical fiction is fiction. It is an imaginative story that comes from the author's imagination. Even though Sadako Sasaki was a real girl, and she was a baby at the time of the bombing of Hiroshima on uh, in Japan in 1945, the thoughts feelings and dialogue that we see from Sadako in this text come from the author's imagination. They are make-believe. So in our Google form, if you selected narrative make-believe, give me a high five. Good scholars. Healing Masters, let's review the characteristics of historical fiction. Our first characteristic is that the setting is very important. 
Can you remind me where and when does Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes take place? Tell me. Right, in Hiroshima, Japan, in 1954, which is nine years after the atomic drum bombs were dropped in Japan in 1945. We know that that and World War II was a real event, but we are viewing the impact and the effect of that atomic bomb on Sadako and her family. We are thinking about their perspective of that event. And we know from chapters one and two about Peace Day that they want to honor those who pass away. They believe that this was a devastating thing that happened to their country. Our third characteristic of historical fiction is that some values, perspectives, and living conditions are different from today. Friends, let's double check our answers on our Google form. Hmm, if you selected the first, the second, and the last answer choices, give me a pound it. Nice work, friends. We know by now that historical fiction is not a nonfiction text. This text com comes from the author's imagination. Friends, let's go over a question that we had yesterday on our exit ticket. Yesterday, I asked you all to make a prediction. Why do you think Sadako was having dizzy spells? Remember, she had just won the big relay race on field day, but afterwards she started not feeling well and feeling very dizzy, and that only got worse as she continued to practice. This scholar said, I predict that Sadako is having dizzy spells because she is scared to let her parents down. In chapter three, Sadako says that she is scared that her legs won't work. She is probably tired from practicing really hard. She has to do good in the race to have the junior high team to want her to run with them. Ely Masters, this scholar did a really great job thinking about Sadako's perspective and her motivation. We know that she is very ambitious and her motivation is she really wants to be on this junior high team. And her perspective is probably that she likes that her parents are proud of her and wants to make sure that she can continue to race to achieve her motivation. Hmm, this scholar said, I predict that Sadako got affected by the atomic bomb sickness. I know that because in the atomic bomb info text, what we read last week, it tells us about the sickness caused by the radiation from the bomb. Hmm. Friends, these are both some really interesting predictions. One way that we can get more information is to continue to build our schema by reading an informational text article. Ely Masters, we know that that is something that we can do because as good readers, we often read a nonfiction text before we read a fiction text because it builds our schema, right, about the setting and important people and events of the time. This helps us better understand the settings and characters in the, inf in the fiction text. Ooh, silly Miss Yablet. So friends, today we are going to be reading more about that atomic bomb sickness that this scholar had mentioned, which is called leukemia. We are reading this informational text, this nonfiction article to help build our what? Yes, our schema. Let's add that to our Google form. What genre of text are we reading today? Tell me. Yes, not historical fiction. We are reading info text. Good. And friends, why do good readers sometimes read nonfiction before reading historical fiction text? It builds our... Yes, it builds our schema. Elay Masters, if you need to, 
Pause your video and double check your answers now. Great job.